God blessed all the biblical heroes. Why wouldn't he do the same for you? Truth is, is God still blesses people today. He still does. It's just that today we're so busy with social media. We're so busy with all these things that one, we think it's, it's us doing it or we're so focused on our problem, we don't even see it. We don't even see the blessings. This whole country is out of control with sin and disaster just happening every day. Today, People need to realize and repent here, here in our country and ask God to forgive us as a country. Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I was picked to my back for my shoelaces. Got out, should have seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger in the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling. Six time failing, I went back to prison. Got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to give back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone, I ain't never. What's up guys, my name is JC, I am Wrong is Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my team, mi familia, mi raza, <laughs> Phoenix stand up, Suicide la Suburban, because we're about to take a ride. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Wrong is Strong. JC here, your host. <sighs> all in your name, all in your glory. Thank you for my salvation, Jesus. Thank you for what you did on the cross for my sins. Thank you. And you know, to me, <laughs> to me it seems crazy how, you know, people are, are calling me, you know, that I'm, I'm on this whole trip, this Jesus trip, that I'm crazy now and I was, but it wasn't crazy when I was out there trying to like kill people, rob people, sell dope, like, it, it's just, it's how, like it's crazy to me now that the veils are pulled off my eyes that people think that that's normal and it's not <laughs> it's not you know um i was at the dream center yesterday and man I, I i fell in love with that place because it's it's like all right i'm gonna say this You know, I, I think that uh, discipleship is really needed, really like bad right now. It's like an emergency like mission that we need to like deploy. And we need to deploy that all to like, I mean, we have to start in the prisons, but in our neighborhoods, in our backyards, like we need to like start helping like us as a, as a country to, to get better because uh, it's just, it's just bad. A lot of bad stuff happening, and, and I, I was speaking to somebody yesterday, and he asked me, "What do you think could be like holding me back from like blessings?" So when I moved down here, I moved down here with about a hundred and ninety k, my jewelry and, and the vehicles and everything I brought down here was probably. I probably had a, a total, a little bit over a half a mil. And I was moving down here thinking that I was gonna like completely change my life. You know, I wasn't gonna be a gang member no more. I was gonna change my life. I, I was tired of trying to, to stay alive and, and I was just gonna do it. I was gonna open up a business down here and I remember getting here and pulling off the I-17 on Dunlap and pulling into the Sheraton Hotel. I lived there for, for six months in the uh, presidential suite on top. There was a strip club on every corner. There was drive-through liquor stores that I had never seen. 
there were massage parlors on every corner. Um, it, it was just like, it was crazy to me, you know? It was so much of all the sin that, that I, I love to do. I mean, even the prostitutes were still walking by the hundreds on Van Buren when I got here. So I got here and it was like free reign because, you know, I didn't have to watch myself by my leaders. You know, my leaders were in Chicago, so nobody was here to watch me. And I, I could break every rule I, I wanted to. So it's, it's like when the mob sent the, you know, the people to, to Vegas. <laughs> uh, I just, I went crazy. And in six months, I was completely like broke. I had no money at all. I had sold all my jewelry, all my expensive cars, uh, clothes, everything was gone. Everything. And since I wasn't making money the same way I was in Chicago, I mean, I was, I was broke. I, I started to like really panic. And I, I started working as a laborer, digging uh, trenches for 10 bucks an hour. And there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Like I respect those guys a lot, how, how hardworking they are and everything. But you know, I'm sitting there digging and I'm like, well, I mean, look who you used to be and look where you're at now. <laughs> and uh, I remember that day I got, I got up and, and I started, you know, stealing all the keys <laughs> from all the heavy equipment, all the, you know, back loaders, trenchers, uh, skidsters, I mean, you name it. I, I stole the keys to everything and I started to learn how to drive everything. I would stay there at night, move around. I had a cousin that had a, a husband that had, uh, you know, heavy equipment too, so I would go over there too on the weekends. And I taught myself how to drive every single piece of heavy machinery you could possibly think of. And that same company, six months later, made me the superintendent for the whole streetlight division. So I was doing street lights, traffic signals. Um, I did all the lights right there on, on Jackson Street by Madison Jail. Uh, I did some of Madison. I did a lot of the lights by, uh, I mean, all over Phoenix. I did half of the lights in the Cardinal Stadium. And I was good at it. I mean, <laughs> I was a weasel and I was like, <laughs> I would never show up to work. I, I would have my, my 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 workers you know uh work for me lie for me and i mean i was living and i could not see the blessing because i was living in complete sin like complete just sin i was they gave me a salary of 2500 a week they gave me a company truck and they gave me a house in scottsdale over there by Sorrell high school like it was like such a blessing like i went from being in a little one bedroom apartment. My daughter was got, getting ready to be born and we got moved into this house with like the pool and, and everything. And it, we don't we don't see none, none of that stuff. We don't see none of that stuff because one we I, I thought it was me. I thought that I had did that, that I made that happen, you know? And it just, remember that just sin creates disaster and disaster destroys, like that's how the enemy works. You know, I ended up crashing the truck, the company truck, two times, and I let two of my workers take the rap. I would go home all the time early to smoke crack all day in the house. Um, I was doing crystal meth. Um, I was in such a dark, dark place. I, I would fight with my baby's mom, cheat on her, I would kick her out. I would like, I would have parties at the house. Um, Prostitutes, I mean, you, I mean, it was so bad, like, and this, and this is the crazy thing is that I would have never been able to see that if I wouldn't have a new heart today that I have that, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference because I would still be lost and saying, oh, I had a good time back then. And it, it wasn't. Today, because of what Jesus did on the cross, I have a new heart. And my faith to my, to my Lord it is his open my eyes and, and let me see really how bad sin was in my life and the decisions and the people I heard and everything. They call me like crazy or whatever, but I just, I feel that this happened right when it needed to happen because it's always on time where I am, it's always his plan and hey, 
It is what it is. I feel that we need to start discipling people really quick. We need to start getting them out there. Be a really big movement. I was asked yesterday what I thought would like hinder somebody from being blessed. And I was like, man, well, let me go home and like make a list because like <laughs> I would have to like, you know, compare myself because I, I can't speak for no one else. You know, I, I have to, I mean, number one, I mean, when you keep sinning against God, I mean, that's going to stop the blessing regardless. You know, it, it, it just, he don't want to be around it. I wasn't a giver. I, I was a taker, always take as much as I could. I was very ungrateful. I didn't forgive. I I would always say I can't forgive that dude. I, I, I was very unforgivable. Unforgiving. <laughs> no, I wouldn't forgive. I wouldn't forgive. I was pursuing what was not for me and making myself believe. I had no faith. I was a pessimist. I was prideful. I was very cruel to people. Very, very cruel. I called it being real. No, it's being cruel. Um, I wouldn't let no, no, none of my past hurts go. I would. I held on to them for years. And I was lazy, very, very lazy. I ran from every calling of God back then. I did, I really did. Yeah, if you're ready to turn your life over to Jesus Christ and just let him start working in your life, find a good church, find a good mentor, get discipled. Remember, we're called to get out there and tell the truth to the world, to be the light. Come visit us at Desert View Bible Church located at 105 West Carefree Highway in Phoenix, Arizona. Our services are on Sundays at 9 a.m. and 1045. Great people, great church. We're always up to something. We love God. We love the disciple. And we're about to send a bunch of Navy SEALs to Chicago. Hey, come visit us. My name is JC. I am Wrong Strong. Pick up your Bible. Listen to the word. Read it. Memorize it, meditate on it, walk it, talk it, be a gangster for God. Catch you guys on the rebound.